and welcome back to the Essex Allotment Farm. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Alex. That out there is the Essex Allotment Farm. It's a commercial market garden where I grow veggies for profit, uh, selling to my veg box service at farmers markets and to some local chefs. Now the footage you saw at the beginning of the uh, video was me on Friday plugging away and putting out the first lot of the new 22 day compost which you'd have seen in the previous vlogs and I'm not going to go on, it, on about it again. The reason I showed that is because quite a few people had reached out across YouTube and Instagram to ask me what's the plan to get the compost out of those things, um, have you thought about putting them up so you can put a wheelbarrow underneath and empty them out etc etc. Um, but as you could see from the video the wheels are perfectly wide enough to go over one of my beds or either the wheels either side of one of my beds and goes over. Um, it spins round and can tip out. So it was always the plan and it works perfectly to deposit it in little piles throughout the bed and then just simply rake it flat. So um, all the best made plans come together. Now the rest of this vlog, um, I'm gonna show you what massive, massive changes have happened over this weekend on the farm. Uh, like I said, that was Friday. Then I had a huge volunteer day on Saturday um, where there were six volunteers, me, and I even roped my mum into uh, coming and cooking us bacon sandwiches up here and um, cups of tea and coffee. And there might have even been the odd Tunnock's tea cake knocking around but I can't confirm or deny whether that is true. Anyway, we got loads done on the farm, so let me jump straight out um, and show you a little bit about the volunteer weekend and uh, what we got done. So yeah, we had an absolutely cracking day. We got loads done. Uh, first thing, we'll talk, I'll talk you through now what we actually got done. Uh, the first thing we got done is some of the strawberries. Um, uh, what am I saying? Pruned and cut back. I've still got loads and loads of that to do, but we just hit that as a team first job. Gave us a chance to work together and chat and get to know each other a little bit. So a few of the volunteers, it was the first time that they volunteered here. Um, but that was a good job well done. So if you compare this, um, sort of section here uh, to the very first clip which I'll try and put back up on the screen um, in the very first clip of this video where I was uh, putting out my compost uh, the, the, the homemade compost actually went on that bed there um, no I can't do this on camera I'm useless there this bed was the bed that the homemade compost went on and you can see the landscape behind um, has completely changed so that bed that I put the compost on has actually got onions in it already uh, planted in sets a little while ago and the volunteers planted uh, 400 broad beans into the bed next to it they are the second succession of broad beans. Um, you'll know if you're familiar with my vlog that I've got um, another bed of about the same amount uh, in block A. This is actually block D. Um, 
and yeah they're the Aquadolci which were recommended by many of you lot in the comments on my vlogs um, so we'll see how they get on Right, I've jumped in the shed to voice over this last bit because it's just way too windy out there. So the main part of the job that we got with, uh, done with the volunteers is was absolutely fantastic. We broke new ground, which you'll have seen using the rotator in the previous shots. Uh, gave it a thin tilth and uh, we put about 40 uh, wheelbarrows of compost on the beds in the penultimate block. And then we managed to break ground in the very final block of the farm. So in effect, we created about um well not about 21 new beds so yeah we managed to create 21 new beds in the last two blocks which are blocks e and blocks yeah e and f i don't know why i find that so hard i mean, obviously uh, it's been a long weekend it's early on a sunday morning but anyway yeah e and f so e is completely done like i said between me and the volunteers, we uh, did sort of like a one inch tilth to shape the bed uh, and break up the compacted ground. That's the only tilth uh, that that block will uh, now ever have. Um, so that's done and dusted. We then put about 40 wheel, well, no, 42, exactly 42 wheels barrows of compost onto those 11 beds uh, in block E. Uh, raked them out, shaped them, roped them. Um, and so that block is completely ready to plant. Um, when I can get wood chip into the field, we will wood chip the paths just to finish off the aesthetics and help the bed stay in shape. But other than that, it's completely done. So that's a huge job. For me to do that on my own, it probably would take me um, at least a week to get all those um, beds done. So it's just hard physical work. But with me and six volunteers, we smashed it out in about two hours. The volunteers were here between uh, 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. but we had a couple of breaks in there and obviously you'd seen we got a load of other jobs to, uh, done as well. While my volunteers were finishing off block E and just raking those flat, I managed to again get the tilfer um, out and uh, rotivate the last block which is block F. Um, so all those beds are now shaped, measured out um, to the 75 centimetres wide with 40 centimetre paths. Um, they've been marked out and they've been tilfed, ready for me to just put um, four wheelbarrows of compost on each of the beds, rake those in and they'll be ready to plant as well. So in the space of uh, about 24 man hours, so within that time frame, nine to one, taking out the breaks with about 24 man hours, um, we managed to get uh, one and a half blocks or one block completely completed and uh, halfway through the second block, which, because um, it's a slightly shape, because it's the uh, slightly odd shape at the end of the thing, it's 21 new beds, brand new beds for me to plant in. And that was the two blocks that had been um, under the big black tarpaulin that ended up in the trees in the gale force winds that you'll have seen in the previous vlog, um, done and dusted and almost ready to plant. Um, so yeah, it was a super, super productive day and I cannot thank my volunteers enough how hard they worked, how much fun we had, um, how uh, lovely people they are. And um, they've all uh, expressed uh, um, the desire to come back and do it again. So I'll probably be thinking about having another volunteer day in a few weeks time. Um, so yeah, that was it. That was my weekend. I just thought I'd catch you up. Like I said, we got loads done. There's other things around the farm that we got done. We carried on doing some aesthetic work around in the communal area. All my herb beds are completely been um, weeded and uh, they look fantastic. Uh, the chive plants have been cut back. The sage is started to uh, spring back into life. Um, the tulips are, are looking great. The tulips in the crates that I planted are looking great. So yeah, it's a really exciting time on the farm and I was really, really pleased I could share it with a new community of growers and like-minded people that came to the farm and gave me a few hours of their weekend. Uh, so that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it um, and I will uh, catch you up in the week and you can see what I get done in the uh, early part of next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.